Hi, and welcome to our video series on the document reviewing and writing tools inside of Microsoft Office. In this video, we're going to talk about putting comments into documents, specifically into Word documents and into Microsoft Excel spreadsheets. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're going to do before you work with any of the document reviewing tools is actually go to the file menu here and click on options. Now, if you're in an earlier version of Microsoft Word, the file menu may actually be a round button in the upper left hand corner here. When you click on the round button or the word file, depending on your version, at the bottom you're going to get an option for options. And I'll go ahead and click that, and the options dialog box appears. You're going to want to make sure that your username and initials are set here. I'm going to go ahead and type something different in here. I'm going to go ahead and type John Smith and JS for my initials. And then I'll click OK. So now, any type of review, comment, or change that's made in this document is going to be recorded as made by John Smith. So let's go ahead and highlight some text here. And I'm going to go to the Review tab, where a lot of my reviewing tools are. And you're going to see the Comment section right here. So again, I went to the Review tab, and I'm in the Comments group here. And I'm going to go ahead and click on New Comment. And Word automatically highlights whatever I had selected and creates a dotted line going over to the comment. And you're going to see that the comment is labeled JS1. When I hover over the comment, a little tooltip comes up that shows the full name of the reviewer, John Smith, as well as the date and the time that this particular um, comment was made. So I'm going to go ahead and click in that, and I'm going to go to type, this is a comment. Some additional text. And you can see how the bubble is going to expand as you type more and more text into it. I'm going to go ahead and just highlight some of that text and just paste it in there a few times. And you can see the way the bubble grows inside. I'm going to go ahead and highlight another piece of text. This time I'll highlight um, some material in a table. And then click New Comment. And you're going to see JS2. This is the second comment in the document uh, made by John Smith. And we're going to type more comments. Oops. And there you have it. Now, everyone that makes um, some sort of change or inserts a comment into this document is going to have that change or that update um, marked with their name. But it'll again, it'll only be marked with whatever name is under Options here. So you need to make sure on your copy of Microsoft Office that your username and initials are set correctly. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to type another name in here. We'll do Mary Jones and change the initials. And now when I go ahead and click OK, highlight another piece of text and insert a new comment. Because it's a new user, even though I just changed the uh, options, when it's a new user I get a new color. And you're going to see it shows up the initials there. And this is the third comment in the document. And I'll just go ahead and type another comment there. And then just click. If you want to edit any of these comments, it's as simple as clicking in the comment bubble and just simply typing what you want to say. Just as simple as that. If you want to delete the comment, the easiest way is just to right click on the comment and select delete comment. You could also click delete right up here. This is a little um, easier, so I'll click delete comment and you're going to see that comment disappears. But I can undo that just like any action inside of Microsoft Word. So that's in a nutshell how to insert, delete, and edit comments inside of Microsoft Word. And again, the most important thing that you can do before you start using the reviewing tools is simply to go to the File menu, select Options, and make sure your name and initials are set there correctly. So now let's go ahead and see how comments are going to work inside of Microsoft Excel. I'll bring up an Excel workbook here. And you're going to see right now it's a blank workbook. So I'm going to go ahead and click on File and open up some information here. And I'm going to go ahead and use my Zoom so we can see this a little bit better. Now, when you're inside of Microsoft Excel, 
you're not going to get that rev that reviewing pane over to the right like we had inside of Microsoft uh, Word. If I go ahead and click on a cell, and then go to the data, or I'm sorry, go to the review menu, I can again click new comment. I'll go ahead and click that, and you're going to see that comment sort of looks like a sticky. It's still marked with my name, and it'll record the time the change was made. It just looks a little different. And this is going to be a new comment inside of Excel. And again, I can make this comment bigger or larger just simply by dragging in the lower right hand corner. So I can drag this up and make it about that size. When you click off of your comment, it disappears. But you are going to notice in the upper right hand corner of the cell that you place the comment in is now a red triangle. That red triangle indicates that there's a comment on this cell. You can simply point at that red triangle and you'll see the comment. If you wanted to delete the comment altogether, you can click delete comment right up here and the comment disappears along with the um, red mark. And again, inserting a comment is simply as, is as simple as clicking, clicking new comment and typing whatever comment you want into the document. And again, hovering over the cell, especially near that right hand, upper right hand corner, will bring up the comment. If I right click on the cell, you're going to see an option for edit comment and delete comment. If I click on edit comment, it brings it up for me, and you'll see I can type in more information. And then again, to delete the comment, you could either click here or you could right click and select delete comment. Finally, you have a show hide comments option here that will allow you to hide that red triangle so that people won't see the comments when you're not hovering over it. Or I can right click on, I'm sorry, I can right click on that again and I can select hide comment and you'll see the comment disappears until I hover over it. Now, inside of Microsoft Word, we'll come back here, you're going to see this panel over here. Now, this panel is actually part of the reviewing panel. In the tracking section, you're going to see a top drop down here that says final showing markup. That means the final version of the document showing any reviewing markup, like comments or tracking changes. If I click this drop down here, and just select final, it will show me just the document and it will hide the comments. If I click this drop down and select final showing markup, again I'll see the comments and any tracking changes that I had been working with. And you'll also see original showing markup and original. And again, those may be self-explanatory to you. If not, go ahead and look at the tracking changes video and um, we'll talk about uh, what those options are. So that, in a nutshell, is how to work with comments inside of Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel.